Hello, hello, and welcome. How's everyone doing tonight? Hello, Kieran. Hello, Francis. Hello, Inez. Hello, Noki. Hello, Lexi. Hello, Erica. Hello, Noob. It's been so long since I've been to a stream. Same. You made it. Hello, best person. Hello, Sim Simivia. Simi? Hey, Tanya Kindle. <laughs> Thank you, Rando. We, uh, we are going to start our journey of uh, learning Japanese tonight. <clears throat> I have already finished Hiragana and Katakana, but it's been a while, so I think we're just going to start from scratch. And I figured if I have to do it, why not let you guys come with me? Yo, yo. Hello, Toffee. Toffee Coffee. We're not going to be doing, uh, <laughs> we're not going to be learning through anime, because that's, that's dookie. Um, also, for the background music, is it, is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Do you even know what's happening? Hello, Springlock. <clears throat> I know Japanese, but I'm here. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. Hello. My avatar is looking to the side because I am looking to the side. Keep the Attack on Titan background. We're just going to chat for a second before we uh, get started. Hello, Pascal. Alright. So, what we are going to do is I'm going to load up the, um, the site. Uh, if you want to follow along with me, it's at the very top of the description. It's called Tofugu. Uh, they have a very in-depth guide of learning Japanese and the process and the stuff you need to go through to, uh, begin that and uh, that's where I've been learning um, <clears throat> with some additional resources as well which we will get to in due time but uh, we're gonna start at the very very beginning I will I will read aloud the guide and then we're probably gonna do a little bit of hiragana tonight uh, not all of it because there's a little bit um, but we'll do the first few rows or columns probably so you can follow along, either the video or you can pull up the website uh, if you want to. But we are gonna we're gonna start. <clears throat> so here's the website. It's Tofugu. Um, can you see in the mouse? I don't think you can. Let's. Uh... Oh, you can see the mouse. Okay. There it is. Yeah, this is going to be, if you don't like school, you might not like this, but I'll try to make it a little interesting. It's Japanese, so it's, you know. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to start at the top. I want to learn Japanese. If you follow the instructions in this over-the-top, step-by-step guide, you will reach your goal of Japanese fluency. However... This journey is going to take a lot of effort and hard work on your part. Anyone who tells you learning a language is going to be easy is either misinformed or trying to sell you something. And eventually, after the honeymoon phase of learning a language wears off, progress feels slower. You burn out, shit hits the fan. If you've ever tried learning something new, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who are going to stick with us for a little bit with me, um, it gets hard. Uh, hiragana and katakana are pretty, pretty easy if you're good at remembering, remembering stuff. Kanji is where it gets fucking whack, I guess. So, you know. <laughs> you don't have your glasses on. You better. 
night school Japanese. Here we go. Uh, so this is going to start at the very beginning uh, with basically zero knowledge, or assuming you have zero knowledge of Japanese. And I don't mean, you know, anime, arigato kasaimasu. I mean, zero actual knowledge. Um, so I made a list that is basically what you see here. And uh, after this video is, or after this stream is finished and the actual video goes up, um, I'll have the link to download this little checklist here. So that way you can follow along with me. And it goes from zero knowledge to beginner. And I guess they're working on the intermediate level. But this is, this is probably months down the line. <clears throat> so we will get to there in due time. So, here's what we're going to do first. Uh, we're going to learn to read hiragana. Uh, it'll take either one day or one week. Um, this could honest, honestly, be, honestly be done in a few hours, uh, but I'm not going to do all of the hiragana in one stream. Uh, so, POV, you assume Bazaar is doing this so he can watch anime without subtitles? You are exactly right. <laughs> the main reason I want to learn Japanese is to watch anime with no subtitles. I want to be that Giga Chad. So yeah, so Hiragana first. Um, Hiragana, if you don't know, is Japanese version of the alphabet. Uh, it is one of three Japanese writing systems you need to learn to be able to read. Because what's the point of knowing a language if you can't read the language? Uh, the other two are Katakana and Kanji, but Hiragana is where we are going to start off. <clears throat> so, the ability to read hiragana is going to be a prerequisite for almost every beginner Japanese uh, textbook and resource, blah blah blah. Whatever you want to do to learn Japanese, you basically have to know hiragana, so that's why we're starting first. Um, like I said, it'll probably take between a day and a week. If you're going to follow along with me and only do it with the streams of the videos, uh, it'll probably take a couple days. If you want to do it on your own, depending on how you are about memorization, you could probably do it in a few hours. So, this is a good note. Remember, you're not in a class. You don't have to move at the speed of the slowest. There's no speed limit. So you can go as slow or as fast as you want to. Hello, Yamazuki. Yomazuki? What is my avatar doing? Hello, Yomazuki. Okay. Uh, and then after that, we will be learning uh, basic Japanese pronunciation. Uh, this is something that I struggle with, mostly with the uh, ra ri ru re ro. That's not how you say it. I just said it how I would normally say it. But uh, it's it's weird if you're not used to it, which I am not. <clears throat> so we will get to there in due time. But that is part of hiragana that we will learn later on. <sighs> And then after we do the pronunciation, <clears throat> which honestly, it should just take very little time. We're going to be learning how to type hiragana in Japanese. Uh, you should be able to, if you're on a PC or laptop, you can do it on your keyboard. If you're on your phone or tablet, wherever, you can do it on your keyboard as well. So that'll take <clears throat> not very long because by, by the time we get to learning how to type hiragana, you're already going to know all of the symbols in the alphabet and how to pronounce them. Uh, you may not know what you're putting together, but you'll know what they are, at least. You're not late, villain your name. Y'all smell like a bunch of bakas. I didn't want to say that. Uh, it was a request via lemon. Um, and then how to type, blah blah blah. Then, then comes everyone's favorite part. Uh, understanding the concept of kanji. The concept of kanji itself isn't too difficult to understand. Uh, the difficulty comes in when actually learning kanji, and there are uh, a lot. And I highly doubt me or any of you will learn every single one of them. I don't even think native Japanese speakers know every single kanji because there's just there's just too many. It's not like learning the alphabet. It's like a million steps above that. <clears throat> so, um, and then you'll begin actually learning kanji and stockpiling the vocabulary. Uh, and while you're learning the kanji and the radicals that come with kanji, 
you'll also be learning uh, katakana. And katakana is basically hiragana uh, drunk, is my interpretation of it. Because it's hiragana is the same symbols for the most part. Uh, no, scratch that. It's not the same symbols. Uh, different symbols with the same pronunciation. So it's, you know, we'll get there. <laughs> and then you'll learn how to type katakana, just like we're going to do with hiragana. And then we're going to learn how to type kanji. And then uh, that'll be like the end of the um, zero noob phase. And then we'll enter in the beginner stages of Japanese. But we are not there yet. So tonight we are going to start with a little bit of hiragana. These streams aren't going to be super duper long because um, that's boring. And it's you don't want to ingest or try to digest too much information at one time or nothing's going to stick. That's why apps like Duolingo, they're fun and they're, you know, they can be good to use, but you just keep doing it over and over again. And it's good for repetition, but that's kind of it because you're digesting so much information that it's hard to stick with. So, <clears throat> also, I'm sorry I'm yawning. Uh, I have been at work all day. So, first step, learn to read hiragana. That's what we're going to start with right now. So I'm going to read a little bit of this and kind of like how we're going to do it. And then we'll go over a little bit of the pronunciation for the uh, vocabulary and the alphabet. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. And we'll, we're not going to do all the hiragana like I said, but we'll try to knock out a few. And then we'll do some quizzes and then... Um, Every stream that we come back to do more, we're going to uh, start with a quiz to see if we remember what we've done last time, and then learn new information. <clears throat> like I said, you can follow along if you want to, either just watching, or if you want to pull this up for yourself, it's at the top of the description. Your boy has a strawberry milkshake. <clears throat> okay. To learn hiragana is to create a foundation for the rest of your Japanese. By learning hiragana, you will learn the basics of Japanese pronunciation. It will also open doors in terms of the Japanese resources you can use. There are no good Japanese textbooks or learning resources that don't require you to know hiragana. So basically, we gotta do this first. Hello, school only. Okay, so. Here's how we're gonna learn. Um hiragana and i found this to be a super easy method it may sound really dumb at first but trust me at least for me it works it might not work for everyone but it worked for me so we're going to learn through mnemonics which is basically relating what we're trying to learn with a picture that's associated to it and it may not it may not make sense while while i'm explaining it but once you see it in uh, action it might make a little more sense <clears throat> Okay, so uh, due to hiragana's relative simplicity, image-based mnemonics are a perfect method for uh, memorization, which is what I said. We're not going to be writing because that's whack, and we're not going to worry about handwriting because no one cares. <clears throat> and we're going to be doing exercises like quizzes. So there is a hiragana chart, which you can download the via the site, but... Ugh, excuse me. The way that they're going to be teaching it through this is a lot more uh, easy to use. But I do recommend downloading this chart and printing it out uh, if you're able to. So there is a pronunciation video, which are we able to watch? Hold on. I'm going to pause the music real quick. I don't know if... Let's see if we can watch this together. So you want to learn Japanese. Okay. This is a three minute video. I'm going to shut up for a second and uh, we'll, we'll listen to this. Hiragana is a great way to get started. Knowing Hiragana will allow you to start on any beginner's learning resource or textbook out there. Plus, it will teach you the foundations of good Japanese pronunciation. Before we start though, let's answer the question. What exactly is Hiragana? Well, to put it complicatedly, it's a Japanese syllabary. That means that each character, like this one, this one, and this one, has a corresponding sound, 
meaning you can use it to spell out Japanese words phonetically. As for what hiragana can be used for, we'll talk about that more later on. But basically, it's used for words without kanji, words where the kanji is very difficult, and for things like particles, suffixes, and prefixes. For now though, we should focus on learning how to read them. The first step to learning hiragana is understanding hiragana's sound pattern. The first five kana, that's what each character in hiragana is called, are vowel sounds. These vowel sounds are present in pretty much all the other kana as well. You'll see what I mean in a second. Let's focus on those first five kana though, the vowel ones. It's really important to get the pronunciation of these first five kana down pat, because they are going to be present over and over again going forward. And don't worry, we're using the English letters here to represent the sounds in this video, but right after this, you'll be learning the actual hiragana associated with these sounds. For now though, let's focus just on the pronunciation. The first vowel sound is a. Ah. This is pronounced like the a ah in car, or the a ah in awful, a. Ah. The second sound is e. This is pronounced like the e in eel, e. The third sound is u. This is pronounced like u in u, a, ah, u. The fourth sound is e. This is pronounced like the e in egg, e. The fifth and final sound is o. This is pronounced like o as in oh my. All right, I kind of just wanted you to hear the pronunciation of those. Um, let me start the music back up so we can get some jams in here. I just want to hear, wanted you to hear the pronunciation of those. So if you didn't hear it and you're just listening to my sweet voice, um, it's, these are the vowels that are uh, used and repeated over and over again, um, throughout all of the kana and hiragana, katakana, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so the A, uh, is pronounced ah like you would say in car or awful, so it's ah. Uh, this looks like an I, and it is indeed an I, but it's not pronounced I, it's pronounced E. So if you see an I, it's an E, you're getting pranked. <clears throat> so you would see E like ill, or electric. Um, the U is pronounced oo, uh, so just think of I don't know, fucking saying U, but without the Y, U. Uh, this E is indeed an E, and it's E, like egg. And then um, this O is O, so <clears throat> that one's easy. Can you ask me something? What's up? <clears throat> so we have A, E, U, E, O. And that's going to be repeated over and over and over again um, throughout all of the comma. So, uh, we're going to start with the, the first set. So the first kana that we're going to learn are these vowels. A, E, U, E, O. And this is what they look like. This is A, and like I said at the beginning of the lesson, we are going to be learning these through mnemonics. So it's going to show what the actual character is over here on the left side. And then over here on the right side, it's going to show the character as well. But in black, it's going to show a little picture that we can use to remember what the kana is. <clears throat> Does niku in Japanese mean meat? I think so. I don't know Japanese. <laughs> That's why we're, we're here to learn. Okay. Do you already know all of this? I know all of uh, hiragana and katakana. And... When I was doing my lessons, I was, like, starting kanji. But it's been a while, so... I'm starting all over from the very beginning. So I can learn what I know from hiragana and katakana. And then we'll all get to learn kanji together, because kanji is a nightmare. <coughs> so this is the character A. Uh, it's the first kana in the alphabet. Uh, it's pronounced, like, the A in car, A. Or the A in awful, awful. Um, and here's the character that we can use to try to remember it. So when you're looking at this, you can kind of see right here in black, there's an A. So you can see it right here when it's not highlighted. So if you can see this A in this character, then you can remember that this means ah. Next is E, um, which is pronounced like E and eel, eel, eel. Um, 
and these kind of look like two little ills. A lot of these you're going to kind of have to just use your imagination. But if you can remember these pictures associated with Akana, then you'll have it down in no time. <clears throat> so we have A for A. We have two eels for E. For E, rather, sorry. E for eel. Eel. Okay. Next, we have U. So this is this is one is a pretty easy one to remember because it's a it just looks like a U turned sideways. And it's pronounced U. Like the U. Like the U and U. So we have a U for U. Next we have E for like egg. <clears throat> and this is one you're going to have to use your imagination on a little bit. Um, if you look at it in a way, it kind of looks like a fancy bird or an exotic bird. And if you see an exotic bird, then you'll know that this is E. So we have a bird for eh. And then finally for the last vowel in the kana, we have O. Oh. And uh, it's pronounced like you're saying O oh, or O oh, or in O original. Uh, and if you look, you can kind of see two, two O's here. And two I's. So O. Oh. So just a quick recap, we have A, ah, E, U, E, O. A ah, with an A, E for two little eels, U because it looks like a U, E because we see an exotic bird. And O, because there's two little old, little old O's right here. <clears throat> okay. So, we are going to do a quick quiz. And it's literally just going to be the A column. Which is just the vowels that we learned. So we have the symbols here, and we're going to try to associate these symbols with the correct hiragana. You can follow me just on the video, or if you want to pull up the quiz for yourself, um, you can either type in this link right up here at the top, or at the top of the uh, description below. So, we have, oops, sorry, we have this kana here, which if you remember, it looks like two eels, so that'll be E. Which, remember, this one's a little confusing because in Romanji it's typed out as the letter I, but it's pronounced like the letter E. <clears throat> okay, so this one here, um, we have this kana, which, if you remember, it looks like it has two circles, one here and one here. And if you were to put those two together, it would be pronounced O. For this kana, if you look, there is almost a letter A right here in the beginning, or right here in the middle, rather. So, uh, <clears throat> if you remember, the, with the letter A in the kana, it's pronounced A. Ah. And this one uh, should be pretty easy. Um, let's see, can you guys get it? There you go, I'm seeing a lot of the right answer here. It looks like an exotic bird. There you go. Eh. <clears throat> and this is probably the easiest one because it looks like the letter U and it's pronounced U. And that's it. Five out of five. Good job, guys. We'll do it one more time and then we'll go back to the Hiragana list. Okay. So, first we have this kana with the letter A in the middle, which is A. Next we have the super easy one, which looks like a letter U turned sideways, pronounced U, like in U, U. 
not uwu, my bad. Then we have this kana, which has two little circles at the bottom, pronounced o, oh. like you're saying o. Oh. Do you speak Spanish? Very, 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 very little. <clears throat> and then we have this kana, which looks like two little eels, which remember, this one's tricky. It's In Romanji, it's the letter I, but it's pronounced E. Like the Markiplier meme. E. <clears throat> and then we have E. Because it looks like a fancy bird or an exotic bird. E. Five out of five. Good job. Alright. That is all for this quiz. <clears throat> if you're following along via the website, at this point in time there is a um, sheet that you can download. I recommend doing this. I'll be doing it after the stream. Um, but you'll download this sheet and then um, you can fill in the blanks with the correct. It's basically what we just did on the quiz, but in a worksheet form. All right. That was the first five Kana. You guys have learned the first five Kana in the Hiragana alphabet. Congratulations. <clears throat> My third is dying. I'm sorry. But we're not done. We, uh, we have the, uh, maybe I can just, I'll just find a fucking, I'm sure nothing bad will pop up. I just want to show a full chart <clears throat> to kind of show where we are. One that's not crazy. Um... Here we go. Okay. So this is kind of like the Hiragana chart. I'm kind of in the way here. Um, let me move over a little bit. I'm kind of in the way here. But this is kind of what we are learning right now. So if you look on the screen, we just learned the A, E, U, E, O. These first five right here. Next is the Ka column. And then Sa, Ta, Na. And then we move to Ha, Ma, Ya. Uh, and then uh, Wa only has two, and N is by itself. And the Ya only has three, so some of these aren't quite five, but most of the columns are five kana each. And then we'll learn Combo Hiragana and Dakuten, which it looks like it's hard, but it's really not. If you know the normal Hiragana over here, then Combo Hiragana and Dakuten are no big deal. <coughs> So, congratulations. Anyway, let me close this and we're going to go back to the guide. Now we're going to start on the Ka column. Uh, which, the first one is going to be easy because it's like Ka-chan. I hate to say that. I feel really gross for saying that, but it's what it is. So, like I said at the beginning, the five vowels that we just learned, A, E, U, E, O, are going to re be repeated over and over and over again with just a few exceptions and you'll see your first example of that with the ka column <clears throat> can we do a kahoot on the first five you know what that sounds like fun hold on let me see if i can find a kahoot give me a second we're gonna do this Let me try to find something. Um, if I can find a Kahoot, that'd be great. <clears throat> I should have come prepared. You know what? If we don't find one this time, I'm going to make a Kahoot for next time. Because that sounds fun. Okay, I, I can't find a Kahoot for it. Okay, next time we do this, I'm going to make a Kahoot for Hiragana. That'll be fun. I'm sorry I did not come prepared. It's unprofessional. Okay, so anyway. 
Like I said, the A, E, U, E, O are the first five kana that we learned. I think we have them down pat by now. And it's going to be repeated in the Ka column, which is next. So instead of A, E, U, E, O, we're going to have Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. And once again, we will have pictures associated with the kana to try to help you remember them. So, uh, the Ka looks like this person kicking. Uh, and it's pronounced uh, ka, kind of like a. They say con con, which is a dance that I don't know. But if you can if you can picture someone dancing, like this picture here, then you can remember ka. Or if you want to know how to pronounce it, like kachan. Uh, next is ki, which is kind of easy because it looks like a ki. You have the the middle here with the two. E parts. I don't know what the fuck a key is made of, uh, but it looks like a key if you can see the picture right next to it. So we have ka, which looks like someone dancing, and we have key, which looks like a key, and it's pronounced key, so it helps. The next one is cute, and uh, speaking of cute, uh, we have ku, uh, which looks like a bird with a big old beak making some sound. So if you can think of coo, like cuckoo bird, with a tweeting out, coo. It is called can can, but to me can doesn't sound like ka, and it was weird, but yes, you're right. <clears throat> so we have ka, which is like a dancing person. We have ki, which is like a ki. And now we have coo, which is like a cuckoo bird, yelling, screaming for help. Next we have ke, which looks like a keg, and it's pronounced ke. So ke, it's kind of round if you look on the sides here, and it's kind of like matches the roundness of a keg. Ka, ki, ku, ke. And then finally for the ke column, we have ko. This one, you're going to have to use your imagination and stretch a little bit. Uh, ko looks like two worms that are happy and living together and they are cohabitating the same area co-inhabiting the same area so co or if you don't like worms you can imagine two cords laying on the ground cords spelled c-o-r-d-s co so we have ka someone dancing ki which looks like a key. Ku, a cuckoo bird screaming for help. Ke, which looks like a keg. And then ko, which is two worms uh, co-inhabiting the same area. <clears throat> so once again, we're going to do the quiz, but this time we're going to do the a uh, and ka. Actually, we'll just do the ka. And then when we do it again, we'll do the ah and ka. <clears throat> okay, here we go. First one, it looks like a cuckoo bird. So it is. Ku. The next one looks like someone dancing, which is everyone's favorite angry boy. Ka. The next one looks like a key, and it's pronounced the same way. Ki. The next one looks like a keg because of the rounded edges, or not edges, rounded sides. Ke. And finally, we have two little worms living together. We have ko, cohabiting together. Ku, ka, ki, ke, ko. We'll do it one more time with just the ka, and then we will do the a and ka together. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> this time we have the worms first. The worms are co-inhabiting the same area. Co. We have a kana that looks almost just like a key. Key. We have a kana that looks like a bird's beak opening, screaming out. Cuckoo bird. Coo. We have a uh, angry board dancing. Ka. Kachan doing the con 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 can can. 
And then finally we have, because it's rounded on the sides, looks like a keg. All right, now we're gonna do the ah and ka together. So instead of five, we're gonna have 10. <clears throat> it looks like a lot and they're mixed in together, but just, just think about what each kana looks like, if you can remember. So here we have two uh, eels, eh, e, I lied, sorry, <clears throat> two eels, e, e. Next, we have a kana that looks like it has two o's, which of course, o. <clears throat> Next, we have the kana that looks like a fancy bird. Or an exotic bird. Eh. Next up, the easy one. It's a kana in the K column. It looks just like a key. And it's pronounced key. Next up, we have the kana that looks like a bird's beak. Screaming out for help. Coo. Next up, we have the kana turned sideways, but it still looks like you, pronounced oo. Next, we have two little worms living together, co-inhabiting the same area. Co. Next up is the kana where Kachan is doing the can-can, pronounced ka. Then we have the first kana that we learned, where it has the letter A right there in the middle. So it's easy to remember that this kana is A. Ah. And then finally, we have the rounded side column, or kana, that's pronounced ke, because it looks like a keg. And that is it, that is 10 out of 10. You guys, 100, everyone gets a 100. You're learning. <clears throat> okay so once again uh, if you're following along there is another worksheet that you can download that is basically just like the quiz that we did but it's where you can fill in the blanks yourself um, you're supposed to do it and then wait five minutes and then do it again and then wait ten minutes and then do it again that way you can you know make it stick in your mind and each, like I said, each stream that we do this, um, we're going to start off with a quiz, first thing. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to, I'm, I plan on be, I don't know what my little avatar guy is doing. I'll be doing this a bunch, so don't worry. All right, we're going to do one more column, which is the saw column. And I'm going to end with this one because it's not the exact same as the ah and ka column. There's one little difference in here. And we'll see that pop up again with more hiragana as well as some katakana. So same thing. Um, everything ends in a, e, u, e, o. But this time it's sa, the sa column. <clears throat> However, there is one difference and we'll get to it in a second. So just like a and ka, the first one and this one, is sa. Uh, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a little sign, and it's kind of a stretch to make um, sai and ah together. But if you can, if you can remember that this looks like a slanted sli sign, maybe like something you would see in uh, unfortunate events of Lemony Snicket or whatever, uh, <clears throat> or Dr. Seuss then you can know sa sign. Next is the first one that is different. So whereas it was pronounced e and then ki, this one is pronounced she uh, because it's weird. Uh, this one looks like a hook. So if you can remember a hook catching a sill, um, this is the first kana exception. So it doesn't follow the e pattern. Um, it still ends with E, but it's pronounced she instead of C, she. So, uh, it looks, it, this one is a pretty easy one just because it looks like a hook. 
And if you can remember, it's catching a poor shield. She. So we have Sa, which looks like a sign, and She, which looks like a sill. <clears throat> Next we have Su, which looks like <laughs> a kid flying off of a sewing. Su. So it kind of looks like he did a little loop on the swing and he flew off of it. Su. Swing. Next we have Se, uh, which looks like a monster with one big fang right here in the middle. You see that? We have the face of the monster and then this little snaggle tooth right here. And the description for this one is Se, uh, as in like sexy tooth. Like how you see that tooth and you're like, wow, that's a sexy tooth. It's not, but we can pretend it is. <clears throat> Se. So we have Sa, sign. She, which is the exception, which looks like a hook with a sill. Su, which is a kid flying off a swing. And Se, for a sexy monster tooth. Next we have So, which, once again with the birds, it looks like a fancy little bird singing a song. So, song, so. So it's flapping its little wings singing a song. <clears throat> so we have Sa, or Sign. She, with the little hook with the sill. Swing, Su, Su, Swing. Se, Sexy Tooth. And then, so, for a little songbird, singing a nice little tune. Okay. Now we're going to do the quiz. Again, we'll just do the saw, and then we'll do, we'll do the saw twice. Can I go over it one more time? Yeah. We'll go over the saw one more time, and then we'll do the saw quiz twice. And then we'll do uh, all of them together. You have a Kahoot? Let me see this. Uh, hold on, let me let me look at this real quick. And then I'll go back over it, I promise. This doesn't, this doesn't really work, uh, only because it has to, uh, it kind of has to be on my screen. Can I make one with the website? Okay, I'll make one later. Sorry. Okay, we're back to this. All right, so uh, I'll go over, I'll go over the saw again, and then we'll do the quiz. All right. So just like the ah and ka column, we have sa. Uh, it looks kind of like a sign. Sa sign. Next, we have the first exception in hiragana, where it was pronounced e, and then ki. But now is pronounced she. Like she is on a hook because it looks like a hook. She. <clears throat> and if you've seen, I can I can type it here. Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't have it set up on this PC. Never mind, I lied. But we can we can do it like this. I don't know. So the word sushi, which I'm sure everyone's heard of, if you look, the first hiragana or the first kana here is su, which is the kid on the swing. 
Sue. And the second one here is the hook. She. Sue. She. See? Everyone knows that one. So now at least you know one Japanese word and the hiragana associated with it. Sue. She. <coughs> but. <coughs> so. She. Next is swing. It looks like a swing, pronounced Sue. It looks like a kid flying the fuck off a swing. Sue. Okay. Next is this scary looking monster face. But in the middle of the face is this sexy little tooth here. This is Se. And then finally we have So. Which is a another fancy little bird singing a song. So. So, again. Sa. Sign. She. Like a little hook. Su. Like a little kid falling off a swing. Will this stream be a vid on your channel? Yes. I, after the stream is over, it's going to be a normal video. And I'll probably edit it down so that way... Um, it's not so long. Next is se for sexy tooth, and then so for fancy uh, birds singing a song. <clears throat> now we're gonna take the quiz. So we're gonna take the just the saw, and we'll start. So first up, we have the one that looks like a monster with a sexy tooth. Which is se. Okay. Next is the one that looks like a swing in a loop because a kid flew off of it. Pronounced su. Next up is the fancy bird again that we see all the time. But this time the bird is singing us a pretty song. So. Next up was that exception that we went over. It's the first exception in Hiragana, and it looks like a hook. And that hook captured a poor sill, pronounced she. She. And finally, we have uh, <clears throat> the first Hiragana in the saw column. Saw. Kind of looks like a little sign. Nice. Five out of five. Good job. We'll do saw one more time. All right, starting off the same, we have the scary monster face with the sexy tooth in the middle. Se. We have the one that looks like a kid falling off a swing. Su, swing. Next, we have the exception kana for the saw column. It looks like a hook. It is she. Next up, we have the one that kind of looks like a sign, maybe in a Dr. Seuss poem. Sa. The very first kana in the sa column. Sa. And finally, again, we have the fancy little bird singing us a pretty little song. song. So. Five out of five. Good job. <clears throat> this time, we are going to do a... Uh, Ka and Sa. Uh, there will not be five. There will not be ten. There will be fifteen kana on this quiz. Once again, it looks like a lot, but if you can remember the pictures associated with each kana, it makes it so much easier. <clears throat> so, this is Ah, Ka, and Sa. <clears throat> so, we're starting off. There are two little eels, eels, which is in the first uh, set of vowels, pronounced e, eels. I lied, e, eels. See, even I get mixed up. It's pronounced e, but it's the letter i. Remember that, e. Next up from the sa column, we have the first exception, which looks like a little hook, and it's pronounced she. <clears throat> 
Next up from the first vowel column, we have one that looks like two little O's, little circle here, little circle there, pronounced. Oh. <clears throat> Next up from the same column, we have the kana that looks like it has a little A right here in the middle, pronounced ah. Next up from the ka column, we have the kana that looks like a E, pronounced the exact same way, key. From the same column, we have the one with the bird who has a big old beak and he's screaming at the top of his lungs. The little cuckoo bird. Coo. Next up from the first column with the first set of uh, vowels, we have the sideways U pronounced OO. From the same column again, we have the fancy little bird pronounced EH. Or exotic exotic fancy bird <clears throat> next up from the saw column we have the one that looks like a kid flying off a swing because he doesn't know how to play right su su wing next up we have two little worms living together co-inhabiting the same place we have co co-inhabiting co from the same column we have the kana that looks like uh, a uh, keg, so it's pronounced ke from the K column. <clears throat> Next, from the saw column, we have uh, the fancy bird making a return, but this time he comes bearing a gift. He's singing us a pretty song. So, song. So. Next up, from the same column, we have one that looks kind of like a sign if you look at it the right way. Pronounced sa. Back to the ka column, we have Kachan doing a pretty little can can dance. Pronounced ka. And then finally, we have the one that has the pretty monster face with a sexy little tooth in the middle. Se sexy. There you go. Good job, guys. 15 out of 15. 100%. Everyone passed. Alright, that is all the hiragana we're going to learn tonight. Just because I don't want to overload myself and uh, those of you who are following along. But we learned a lot. We learned all of um, the first five vowels. The A column. We learned all the Ka column. So we have A, E, U, E, O. Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. And then in the S column, we have the first exception. So it's Sa, Shi. Instead of C, it's Shi. Sa, Shi, Su, Se, So. Easy peasy. My avatar is jerking all over the place. So I highly recommend that you go to the <clears throat> first link in the description below. And if you do go to the link, you'll be on this page here. And once you get to this page, you can follow this checklist. And uh, we just did learn to read hiragana, the first steps. And then you'll click on this link and it'll take you to where we just were. It'll show you the pronunciation and it'll show you everything that we were just at. So next time we are going to be doing the, wait for it. We'll be doing the ta column We'll be doing the Na column. And then we'll be doing the Ha column. So we're, we'll try to do three columns per stream. Uh, so today was A, Ka, Sa. Next is going to be Ta, Na, Ha. And for those of you who weren't able to make the entire stream, that's perfectly okay. Uh, this is going to be a normal video. And then I'll probably edit it down and make it a little bit shorter, cut out all the baloney so that way it's easier to watch. Uh, but yeah, these streams aren't going to be very long. It's probably going to be about an hour to uh, maybe half an hour for each stream. Ugh, I'm a sleepy boy. And yeah, we'll get through here, Ghana. And then we're going to start. We're going to look at the pronunciation a little bit better. And then we're kind of going to start 
katakana and kanji at the same time um probably do katakana first just because it's easy uh or easier than uh, kanji and then it'll probably take the same amount of time to learn as hiragana uh but yeah so we're gonna finish hiragana uh we'll do quizzes um and next time we do this on wednesday same time no wednesday we're actually yeah this wednesday we're gonna do it at 8 p.m again uh i'll have a kahoot ready so that way we can quiz but yeah um let's do one more quiz on everything that we learned and uh we'll end the stream for tonight so tonight we learned ah ka and sa next time we're gonna learn ta na ha and then the last one for hiragana we're gonna do um we're gonna do the last four because they're not all five each so we're gonna do ma ya da and wa <clears throat> Okay, so let's quiz one more time on ah, ka, and sa, and then we'll end up. So we have 15 kana again. I'll go over each one as we input the answers. First off, from the first five set of vowels, it looks like a little U turned sideways, and it's pronounced oo, like the end of U, oo. Next up from the ka column, we have one that looks like a key, so key, and it's pronounced the same way, key. Remember that the I, it looks like an I, and it's typed like an I, but it's pronounced E, but key, and it looks like a key. Next, we have one from the first column. And if you look, it has two little O's, right here and right here. And it's pronounced O. <clears throat> from the same column, we have two eels, uh, dancing together. Pronounced e, eel, eel. From the saw column, we have the first exception. It is a hook, or it looks like a hook. Uh, and it captured a poor seal. A she. I can sue she, she. The next one from the ka column has a little bit round, it's rounded on the sides, and it looks like a keg, ke, ke. Next up from the Ka column, we have Ka Chan doing a dance. Ka. Just picture his legs moving, dancing. From the A column, we have the fancy eh, exotic bird. Eh. And the exotic bird is back again, but this time he's singing us a so song. Next up, we have the monster face with a sexy tooth in the middle there. Remember that little snaggle tooth? Se. In the ah column, we have the little a here in the middle of the kana. Ah, pronounced like ka, car, or ah and awful. Ah. In the ka column, we have the bird who is screaming his lungs out because he just loves singing so much. The little cuckoo bird is crazy. Coo. Cool. Next, we have two worms just vibing, living together, co inhabiting the same area. Co? <clears throat> Next up is the dumbass kid who flew off the swing because he doesn't know how to play right. Su, swing, su. And then finally, in the sa column, we have sa. Looks a little bit like a sign that's been blown sideways a little bit. Sa. U, ki, o, i, shi, ke, ka, e, so, se, a, ku, ko, su, sa. 15 out of 15. Good job, guys. Stick with me, and I promise you this will be as painless as possible until we get to kanji which is literal hell, but we'll have fun until then. So yeah, that was ah, ka, and sa. Those, uh, the kana, it may look a little different depending on the font. As you can see, it changes slightly. So they don't look exactly the same depending on the font, 
but they look close enough to where you should be able to tell it's the same thing. They're just slanted a little bit. It just depends on the font. <clears throat> I'm about to... This, this is what it's going to look like by the time we do all of the hiragana. So eventually, this is what our quiz is going to look like. But we're not going to worry about that right now. But it looks like a lot. But I promise you it's not. <clears throat> and that's kind of it. Uh, names, I don't think... I could be wrong, and I'm probably wrong. I think names are usually spelled with katakana. So, Sophia would probably be... Um, let's see if we can look up a katakana chart. I don't know why it's in all caps. Sophia would probably be something like... Uh, uh, the... Uh... B doesn't really have a pronunciation. It would be, it would be like an exception. And I don't remember what that looks like, but then, uh, so I don't remember. Uh, it might be on this one. That is too small for my eyes to read. Anyway, I think names are usually spelled with katakana. So I would go with that <clears throat> if you're looking to spell your name. But yeah, so tonight we learned Aka and Sa. Uh, Wednesday night at the same time, 8 p.m. Central Time, we'll be learning Ta, Na, and Ha. Uh, I really urge you, for those of you who are actually interested in learning this, um, I really urge you to go check out the link at the top of the description. Like, this is all free. You don't have to pay for a single thing. <clears throat> go check out that link. It covers everything that we just did on the Hiragana Guide. Um, and if you want to study ahead, you can. If you want to just repeat everything that we've learned with Aka and Sa, you can. Um, and definitely, definitely download the worksheets. These are free too. It's just like a Google Doc. And you can fill in the blanks. And I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll download everything so that way next time on stream we can fill those out um, together. But uh, yeah, that is it for tonight's stream. Thank you guys for sticking around. <clears throat> I think we are good for tonight. Ugh. And uh, yeah, Akasa, you guys study a little bit, and we're going to be back Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central Time to do, we're going to start off with a quiz, and then we'll do Ta, Da, and the Ha columns. And then we'll, one more stream after that, we'll be done with the basic hiragana, and then we'll start with combination and um, Dakuten, which sounds like a lot, but I promise you it's not. Yeah, it'll be 8 p.m. Wednesday. I'll post a reminder uh, tomorrow and then again on Wednesday. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. I will uh, see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>